Patriot Prime Reviews is a channel for adult collectors and may not be suitable for children under 13 years of age. Viewer discretion is advised. Hey, what's going on guys? Patriot Prime here once again with another ToyHacks.com sponsored review. But before I get started, I need you guys to do me a favor. If you're watching this video right here and are not a subscriber of Patriot Prime Reviews, please hit that subscribe button right now. It won't cost you a thing, but will help me and my channel out tremendously. Now, on to the decals. And the set I'm looking at in this video is the massive decal set for War for Cybertron Earthrise Scorponok. I have been sitting on this set for about two weeks. It's a rainy day and a perfect day to finally sit down and apply these decals. Now, this decal set includes three massive decal sheets on foil backing. You've got one, two, and three, and you also get two smaller decal sheets on vinyl backing, one and two. And just a real quick heads up, the decal set for Scorponok only includes the main body of the Titan, not Lord Zarek. Lord Zarek is a separate decal set, and if you want to check out my review of this guy, click the link above. So now, without further ado, let's finally take a look at Earthrise Scorponok, both before and after Toy Hacks decals. And welcome to Patriot Prime Reviews. <laughs> Now, before I get started applying the decals to Scorponok, I thought I'd give you guys a little behind the scenes of the tools I use when applying decals. First off, I have this little paintbrush right here. I use this to get the dust off areas, especially if a figure's been sitting on my shelf for a while. You want to make sure the area you're applying the decal is nice and clean. I've got my official ToyHacks.com tweezers right here. These are really nice and pointy, so I can get in with those little tiny decals and I apply the tip on to you know get those details or decals smashed down and pressed into place. I also have two different sets of flat tip tweezers, a curved set of pointy tweezers. Once again I keep the tip on just in case I need to apply some pressure. I have a little pair of trimming scissors just in case some of those decals do not want to come off the decal sheet. Now how I'm going to tackle Scorponok, I'm going to take these smaller pieces off first, get those all decaled up, and then move on to the bigger figure. Now before we get started, I do want to apologize that this video will not be like my other Toy Hacks reviews because I just can't get Scorponok completely in frame while having my camera on the tripod. He's right here on the edge of my desk so I don't have room for a normal camera setup. So there's going to be a lot of handheld moving shaky cam. So for that, I do apologize. But let's take a look at Scorponok in city mode straight out of the packaging. City mode has tons of molded detail. That's one thing you can't uh, slack Earthrise for is their lack of molded detail. All of their figures are amazing and Scorponok Actually, just he takes the cake. The molded detail on this guy is amazing. Starting here with the ramps. You got some orange tile here with orange arrows. Great molded detailing right here on these platforms. A little roadway here. Molded detail along the legs, or I guess the wall of the city. The ramp, more great detail, and a blue stripe right there. I've got Titan Master Scorponok, standing guard. He's not included with Scorponok. That came with uh, Titan Master, or excuse me, Titan's Return Grotusk. Moving on up the city, we've got the Shield Tower right here. Once again, great molded detail. You've got orange paint applications right there in the center with some blue. And these movable pinchers also have some really nice detail. The towers... One thing I didn't like about this figure is the towers utilized the gun for the tower mode. I wish the guns were on the side, but oh well. Towers, great molded detail as well. 
down to the guns. You got a little bit of paint applications here. Now, right here on the side, I took Lord Zarek's Scorponok antenna, and I actually attached those to the tower to give it a little bit more beef, if that makes sense. Moving on along, you've got the exhaust ports here on the back. Oh, down here along the other side. This side is exactly like the other. Lots and lots of great molded detail. But he could really use some extra oomph. And that's what Toy Hacks is for. So there you go, guys. One final look at Earthrise Scorponok in city mode before and after. Scorponok City comes to life thanks to Toy Hacks and all of these awesome decals. And for city mode, there is a lot. Now, let's go ahead and start from top to bottom, taking a look at the towers first. The towers get brand new chrome decals up here on top, along with new window decals. There's also an orange decal here and a little black stripe. Of course, this is on both tower pieces. Moving on down, you have the gun emplacement, which is now a tower with some chrome accents here and orange decals. Moving on to the center tower piece, we've got chrome decals right there on the pinchers and decals here on the main tower itself. You got little lights all the way across, center lights, or excuse me, center windows there, yellow decal there, and some new purple highlights and red triangles. And right here, we have a really cool looking console or command center. There is a screen right there with Galvatron and a readout. And on this side is another screen as well. And you've got decals there. Now opening this section up and connecting it to the tower looks really good with new black and orange decals right there on the middle with new yellow windows and some more purple highlights. You also get blue decals here and purple, black and purple decals there. And down inside, you've got Lord Zarek watching a monitor with Cybertron on it. So he's ready for the attack. And let's see, we've got some orange decals there on the sides. So we'll go ahead and shut that console up. Moving on to the centerpiece here, we've got new purple decals there, silver decals right here along the sides, and Decals with numbers and arrows here, purple decals there, chrome decal here, what looks like that uh, diamond plating. I love Toy Hacks' diamond plating. Always looks really, really cool. On the main ramp itself, you get this new decal right down the middle, it really accents that orange and all these little light decals. Moving down, you get a new decal right there. Now there is some options. You can use this one that I have or there's one that had more of a light blue. And speaking of options, right here we have this Monicus Casino and Lexor. Those can go right up here on the tower. I decided to go with a plain look since uh, I'm old school. Back to the ramp, we got more decals here with these extra blue pieces that extend on the blue arrow that was on the factory paint job and purple decals along the bottom. We also get new decals here on the sides and on the side of the ramp, new decals here, a blue stripe here and decals right there. So really cool in the center section. Now moving on to the sides, <clears throat> you got these ramps. Man, these were a challenge. You got new decals that cover every orange tile that was on this ramp. Those are individual decals, purple, black, orange. Up here on this ramp, lucked out, this is only three decals. You got one, two, and three, but you wanna be careful placing those because you wanna make sure you get everything lined up just right. Moving on down to the leg, you get new chrome decals there on that vent. Window decals here and here, black decals there, orange decal here, a black strip right there. Now that one took me forever to find because I don't think it's numbered. So if you see that little black strip, it goes right there. There's also new chrome decals right here on what looks like missile pods. 
And as you can see, those were tiny decals. Now a really cool feature that Toy Hacks added to this is it gave City Mode more playability by creating missile command centers. So what you're gonna do is just halfway transform Scorponok, bring the feet up, see, and then angle this accordingly so it's straight. It's hard to do that with one hand. So now you got this missile pod area. So you got a decal for missile pods right there, a command center. You got these readouts here and here. You got new floor tile, diamond plating, and turning around. You got readouts here. And if you can see, there is a sign that says notice face plates required. So that is. That's a very 2020 decal, uh, you know, with all the face mask hoopla. And I'm kind of curious, what kind of virus does Transformers get? KO Ronavirus? <laughs> anyway, same thing here on the other side. Fold this up, and you've got another missile command center. And this side, too, also has all the same decals, except there's new posters support the hive and you can see nightbird at her uh, burlesque show <laughs> that's pretty cool i dig it also toy hack showed off something else i noticed is you can take this purple section here pop this off and then on the back you can peg it in for the missile command center to have a wall so that is really cool i like that so there you go, guys. There is Scorponok in City Mode after. In Scorpion Mode, straight out of the packaging, Scorponok is still covered in all those great molded details. But now we can take a closer look at the claws. Great molded detail on these. You do have some orange paint applications there, along with some silver. Moving on to Scorpion Mode's head. As you can see, the Toy Hex Lord Zarek looks really really good he's got little grinder teeth right there red dots new compound eyes and some purple striping there moving along the back of the scorpion you've got some paint details right there on his back with a decepticon logo there's some silver paint there and you can see the engines or exhaust ports from city mode here's the Blasters from City Mode as well, the double barrel cannons with their orange paint applications. Down here on the legs, the legs look really good. Lots of molded details, but they could still use a little bit of oomph, if you will. Moving along the back of the Scorpion, you've got the tower pieces here now. There's the platforms from City Mode. More molded detail along the back. You've got orange, green, gray. I like the vents right there that looks really good along the back of the scorpion we've got more paint applications blue paint there and there along the scorpion tail more great molded detail up here till we get to the orange tip which is in my opinion pretty plain so there you go guys one final look at scorpionock in scorpion mode before and after Scorpionox Scorpion Mode benefits greatly from Toy Hacks decals as well. Let's take a look at the claws first. He gets new silver decals right there, right here, and some decals right there along the top. There's also little chrome accents that go inside the orange circle. And let's see, moving around, we've got decals here on the back, more windows right there and there along with some orange highlights on the arms also you can make out the details on the cannon a little better you've got the chrome tips on the barrels orange decals here and black and orange decals right there now of course you're seeing the lord zarek set right here as scorpionox head but here on the collar you get this purple decal with silver vents so that looks really cool you can take a look at Scorpion's underside of his arm here. There's a decal that shows off pistons, more orange decals, and more window decals. And on the other neat underside of the claw is a big decal right there. I really like the orange with the purple. That looks really, really good. Moving along, Scorpionox's body. 
We've got new decals right there. And if we open this up, the control panel comes into play really good for Scorpion mode. We've got Mini Scorpionock right here at the controls driving the giant Scorpion. So I do like that. Get that locked back into place. Moving along the legs, we've got new orange decals right here. Or not the legs, the back. Well, you know what I mean. New orange decals right there. And along the sides, we have orange decal here. More window decals. Some purple and gray decals there. Some black. More windows. Little silver decals there. And orange here at the end. There's also more windows here. Orange and chrome decal right there moving along the tail which was the ramp earlier you see the same decals that you saw before now of course on the side here you can add the shield which thanks to toy hacks now has some red decals which makes it look like a blaster of some sort so let's go ahead and put that on so you can see what that looks like this is really hard to do all this one-handed so there we go. Now we have the shield piece attached to the Scorpion mode. All that chrome looks so good. Now moving along the tail, also we've got an orange decal here. And then right here on the tip of the tail, we've got a decal with a Decepticon logo. And decals along the sides of the tail weapon. Now, take note for this decal set to work with the tail. You're going to have to take this section off of the figure, you know, straight out of the box. You're going to take this off and flip it around. Normally, this side of the tail is this hollow section here. So you're going to take this off, flip it around, reinstall it, and then you're going to take the tip, pop it off, and turn backwards. So the tip is going to have the hole here up top, and the middle section here is going to have the gap in the back. And that makes the decals work. And I dig it. You got the big logo right there on the tip of the tail. And then up here, it just, it looks really, really good. And I really think that's ingenious how Scorponok tweaked that tail as such. Now let's move on down to the legs. Now, of course, you see more window decals here. Lots of great details on the legs. Let me see if I can get this angled just right. Anyway, the bottom of the robot feet have these orange and black decals. That's on the both sides of all the feet. Also up here at the knee joint, you get a silver decal. There are orange decals here on the tips of the toes and straighten the leg out. Orange decals here above the knees and down there at the joint, the main joint. So there is the legs. And of course you see all of the individual decals that you have to put on so all in all i think scorpion mode looks great lots of extra added details and i love it i think this guy looks fantastic so there is one final look at scorpion mode after in robot mode straight out of the packaging scorpionock looks amazing i absolutely love this figure scorpionock has always been one of my favorite generation one characters thanks to marvel comics and as you can see the toy hacks lord zarek head looks amazing i love how that looks on scorpionock now let's go ahead and take a look at the figure starting here at the top on his shoulders Lots of great molded detail once again right there on the chest. You've got the blue and the orange. The Decepticon logo right there. On the sides, you've got some gray pieces. The thrusters there on the side. I love the abs. Lots of great molded detail on the abs. Big Decepticon logo right there. Great molded detail. Moving on down to the legs, you've got some grays, purples, blues. Lower leg, you've got the gray with the blue stripes, a little bit of orange, and down to the feet, which also have some great molded detail. Up here on the arms, these are the same that you saw in Scorpion mode. Lots of molded details, and that's about it. A fantastic looking robot. And of course, there's the shield made from the tower piece from the city and the two tower pieces. Once again, lots of molded details, 
And you got a little bit of paint applications there with the orange and the blue. So there you go, guys. One final look at the mighty Scorponok before. Now, before we get into Scorponok's full robot mode, I do want to show you this, that Toy Hacks added decals into Scorponok's neck port. So you got these little control panels. You got little panels here on the side. There's a seat right there. Turn around so you can see better. So I guess this is if uh, Scorponok or Lord Zarek's body is in the shop. Little Z can sit in here and take command of the robot. So I thought that was pretty cool. And after. Scorponok looks fantastic in robot mode, thanks to Toy Hacks. Lots of great details really accent this figure. Starting here, right dead center in the chest is this brand new Decepticon logo. The logo I chose was kind of a glowing purple Decepticon logo. You do get options. You get a yellow logo, a Predacon logo, and a logo that looks like uh, Hollow Glow. But I decided to go with that one. That looked more old school. Now up here on the arms, let's remove the cannon so you can get a better look, is he gets new decals right here on the shoulders. You get decals right there along the top and underneath. Now these decals also carry over into Scorpion mode but I forgot to show those there on the back with the orange and the new window decals. So that looks really, really good, but the cannon tends to hide those. Let's see if I can get that hooked back on. Like I said, this is hard doing everything one-handed. Now, of course, you see the decals from Scorpion mode right there on the chest as well. New decals right there on the abdomen, ab. Blue decals right there on the crotch, and another little feature right here with this control panel, let me get this open for you, is right there is the old school Headmaster readout. A nice throwback to us Generation 1 fans. Now along the arms, the claws, you see the same details that you did see in Scorpion mode. There's a better look at the chrome decals right there inside that orange. Along the legs, nothing on the upper legs, but there's a lot down here on the lower legs. You got these new yellow light decals here, new decals right there to extend the blue. That was from the factory paint job. New decals here inside the knees, orange decals right there above the feet, and there's the orange decals from Scorpion mode. And as far as the feet's concerned, you got new black decals here along the top, and silver chrome decals there on the feet. So all in all, a fantastic upgrade to Scorponox robot mode, especially if you have the Lord Zarek set. That looks so cool. So there you go, guys. Scorponox in robot mode after. My hat's off to the design team at ToyHex.com. They knocked it out of the park with this decal set for Scorponok. And yeah, I forgot to show you the shield in robot mode. Look how good that looks with all that chrome catching the light. This thing is fantastic and I couldn't be happier. But keep in mind, this set right here is what I would call a set for experts. I worked on this thing for five nights about two hours a night. So I put in the time on this set and man, it's well worth it and highly recommended if you have an Earthrise Scorponok. Now guys, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, and don't forget to click that bell icon to get notified when I upload new reviews. Once again, this is Patriot Prime signing out. Hoo-ah!